Hi, welcome to America's Grip. I know it's been a long time since I've made a video. I have missed all of you ladies and gentlemen out there. Uh, thanks for those that have been sticking with me and been trying to keep up my videos here, guys. Like I said, I've been very, very busy moving. This is my new home that uh, me and my new bride do share. Go ahead and make a quick announcement right quick. A quick little reminder, if you haven't already, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button and follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and TikTok. I will list our uh, handles here, there, and I'll put a link to all of our uh, channels or pages in the description box below. So we're going to jump right into this week's video. This week I'm really going to be focusing on, um, believe it or not, I'm going to be focusing on... Uh, Unity as a country, unity as a whole. Guys, with the things that are going on right now in the world, we have got, whether you're Republican or Democrat, Socialist, Communist, what have you, guys, people are dying left and right due to this novel coronavirus. We need to come together as as an American. I don't give a crap, I don't give a shit if you're black, you're white, you're Hispanic. You're Asian. I don't. You're Democrat, Socialist, Republican, Libertarian. I don't care. We need to come together to be one nation, guys. This country that we love, and for whatever reason you love it, is falling under attack from the inside. Abraham Lincoln once said that a, a house divided cannot stand and will not stand. I know that's a little bit paraphrasing, but he genuinely did say that. Um, we need to remember this. At the end of the day, I don't care if you're black. You're not. You're not African American to me. You're not uh, a Central American. You're not a Hispanic American. You're not um, an Asian American. No, you are an American. That's what we are. We all bleed. At the end of the day, we bleed red, white, and blue. And if you cannot agree with that, get the f out of this country. My family has fought and died for it. I've had brothers and sisters, I've had, and I mean that metaphorically, I've had neighbors uh, that have fought for this nation that are proud to be from this country. And I am proud to be from this nation as well. And for anybody that wants to sit there and say you hate this country because of what it stands for, read your f***ing history books. And I know this is kind of contradictory in here that, well, this kind of kind of sounds odd, but the God that I serve, Jesus, once said, "Those without sin shall may you cast the first stone." And again, I know that's not 100% word for word, but it is the same. So basically, what that means is, if you are without sin, be the first one to act against someone who has committed a sin. We're all sinners, ladies and gentlemen. We are literally all sinners. And what I want you to understand, if you if you don't like this country because of our history, then move. Don't bash the nation. I'm not saying we're a nation of perfect people. I'm really not. We are a nation of imperfect people trying to live in a perfect world. Trying to make our world perfect by coming together as one people, as one nation under God so we can all live in harmony so that everybody may achieve the American dream. That's what I want for this entire world, ladies and gentlemen. I want it for this country right here because the government is sitting in D.C. right now. They don't care if we are fighting each other, loving each other, whatever. They don't. They don't care about us. Hell, look at the stimulus check of $600. Are you telling me that $600 is going to pay your rent? It might pay your light bill and your grocery bill. For one month. Guys, there, there goes to show the government does not care about us at all. The only person that I'm going to say this, he's on my shirt, Trump, He's the only one that I can think of more recently that has taken the initial steps without pressure and said, no, the government 
We need to give, us as the government, we need to give Americans $2,000 each, not $600. What does that tell you guys? Nancy Pelosi didn't recommend it. AOC, her dumb ass. Guys, we've got to stand up and do this, man. It's just crazy. I just, I don't know. I've had dreams that this nation is, is no longer here. It's scary. I think the nation that I love is no longer here. And I hope you, those that are watching, understand where I'm coming from on this. That we, to, if we were to come together as one people, we can save this nation. All right, guys, I'm going to wrap up this video with a quick prayer. So if you would, please bow your head and join me. If, again, if you don't believe in this, I'm not pressuring you to. Just acknowledge this as a moment of silence. And let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, I want to say thank you for every single thing you've given us, God. Even in this world of detriment and terror, we still thank you for the blessings you have given all of us, even though we may not see them right now, God. God, I want to say thank you for sending your son to die on the cross for us so that if we believe in him and accept him, we may have everlasting life with you in the kingdom of heaven, God. God, thank you for this nation. God, I want to pray for our leaders that are in D.C. I want to pray for the world. I want you to, I pray that you will put your, place your hands on the world just for healing, God. I pray for healing. I pray for protection of our men and women in, in uniform, whether in the military and the police on the police department and their first responders what have you God, i pray for them i pray for protection of everybody out there the lord that needs you i pray that for anybody that has lost it they, that they will find you and find comfort in you and find rest because god you do say you will never leave us nor forsake us in your holy name lord i do pray amen so that is all for this week here on America's Grip. Again, I am your host, the Sensible Libertarian. I will see you next week, guys. I am going to start uploading videos every single week. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. I promise you I will see you next week. I love you all. There's not a dang thing y'all can do about it. God bless you. God bless your families. But most importantly, God bless the United States of America. Love you guys. See ya.